The Archimedes principle says that the, the buoyant force equals the weight of the displaced fluid. For example, let's look at a floating object. If the object is floating right there, that means the acceleration is zero. So if we draw the force diagram, there will be mg, and it's touching the fluid. So this fluid gives it a buoyant force that goes upward. Because the acceleration is zero, that means the upward force equals to the downward force. And according to the Archimedes principle, the buoyant force also equals to the weight of the displaced fluid, which means it equals to the mass of the displaced fluid times the g. And this is the mass of the block. And which means I can cancel the g's, the mass of the block equals to the mass of the displaced fluid. We can also have a block that is completely submerged in a fluid. Again, this object, if it's just suspended over there, the acceleration is zero. So the force diagram, you have mg and it is touching the fluid, so we get a buoyant force. And it is also touching the string, so there is a tension from the string. Acceleration being zero means the upward forces added together would equal to the downward force. And that means uh, this tension is uh, mg minus the buoyant force. And in this case, the tension is uh, the apparent weight, which means that uh, this is the apparent mass times g, which means uh, this object seems uh, lighter than its real weight. It's lighter than its real weight by this much, the buoyant force. So if this block is actually 5 kilograms, but it has a 3 kilogram apparent mass when it's completely submerged, that means uh, the difference, uh, 5 minus 3, 2 kilograms, it got f 2 kilograms lighter, that is because of the buoyant force. So this must be the equivalent mass for the buoyant force, which means this is the mass of the displaced the fluid. This also means uh, that the buoyant force itself would be the weight of the 2 kilograms. That means uh, it's 20 newtons. And of course, the mass of the displaced fluid is the density of the fluid times the displaced volume. And in this particular case, because uh, the entire block displaces the fluid, that means the displaced volume is the volume of the block. We can also have, for example, a helium balloon in air. So this is a helium balloon completely submerged in the fluid air. If we draw the force diagram for this helium balloon, suppose it's tied to a string, so the helium balloon is at rest. That means the acceleration is zero, and the forces acting on the helium balloon will be the mg of the balloon. And uh, it is touching the string, so there is a tension. and uh, the air is giving it a buoyant force uh, going upward. Since acceleration is zero, that means the buoyant force must equal to mg of the balloon plus the tension in the string. And of course, the buoyant force uh, equals to the weight of the displaced uh, fluid. And now the fluid that gets displaced by the helium balloon is the air. So for example, if we need to find the tension in the string, we just need the mass of the balloon and uh, the weight of the displaced air. And of course, the weight of the displaced air equals to the mg of the displaced air. And uh, the mass of the displaced air equals to the density of the air times the volume displaced. And the, the volume displaced is the volume of the balloon.